Hello, uh, this is my quick uh, video feedback on Jabra Elite 65T Bluetooth headphones that I recently bought and uh, the idea was to replace this Plantronics Voyager 5200 which I've been using every day uh, to in connection with my phone, with my laptop uh, it's actually been quite good and before this I used Plantronics Voyager Legend, which was similar looking, and I was also very happy with it. With this, I thought that maybe it would be better now that everybody is starting to use these Bluetooth headphones after getting rid of the uh, headphone jack in the phones. I thought that maybe finally I could have a stereo sound available with better quality and, uh, and so on. But I got disappointed with this particular choice, and I'm I will be returning them. Um, they happen to be too bulky. If you are used to this type of uh, earbud, which doesn't really go inside of your ear, it does less like hangs uh, a little bit outside and you hear the surroundings. This one goes all the way in and what I noticed is that many Bluetooth earbuds on the market today are like that, most of them in fact, that go all the way into the air and um, it's different feeling. It's really like blocking your air. Of course, somebody somebody might want that to block the surrounding um, no, noises. But uh, on the other hand, if you want to use it like all the time, like I did with Plantronics, that's not really a good option. Maybe only if you're like working out, you wear them for a while and then you take them off. But not all the time. Even though you can use like only one headphone. Uh, only the right one, I believe, um, and uh, without leaving the other one out, so you can actually hear the surroundings. But um, still, they're so bulky, and they also go all the way into the into the air can canal. So it is really uh, putting like a pressure on your ears, and uh, I would not recommend to wear them like all the time. I know not everybody is so geek to wear a Bluetooth headphone uh, headset all the time. I am. And um, and so it's not for these kind of people. Therefore, um, the audio quality has been quite good. Definitely better than this mono signal. Um, what else I could say? The connectivity has not been as stable as this one, even though this one has Bluetooth 5. Point oh, this one has like Bluetooth 4 or something and uh, uh, this one was much more stable both with phone with the laptop well with laptop actually I'm using this uh, special Plantronics um, attachment that makes much better Bluetooth connection uh, if you use built-in uh, Bluetooth in your laptop it's not nearly as good as using this Bluetooth uh, like adapter from Plantronics, I think it's called UC600. So this works super stable uh, on the laptop together with this Plantronics. But with this one using normal Bluetooth connection on my laptop, uh, it has not been as stable. Like if I leave a little bit further away from the laptop, uh, um, it could drop and then uh, drop the connection and then uh, it's not always so straightforward how to reconnect them. Do you have to put them back in the box? Uh, I figured that you can actually press one of the, you know, this one, which has one button, a long press it, like a really long press, it will actually turn it off. And then you can again, super long press it, it will turn it back on with special tone. So then it sort of reconnects, similar to putting them in the box and, and getting them out. But but otherwise, why would they like be disconnecting and not reconnecting automatically, or maybe they go into like some kind of sleep mode by itself, and uh, which does not happen with this one and that one with my laptop. But even with the phone, I've experienced several times that like why are they not connected? I'm trying to view some video on YouTube. Uh, all of a sudden, I don't hear anything. I have to like press restart them. Uh, and then they connect. But it's never happened with Plantronics. And I've used many other Bluetooth before with different level of stability. So maybe it's not the worst, but it's 
certainly not the best, not nearly as good as Plantronics. What else? Well, otherwise, they have a long battery life. They look nice. So, for some non-consistent non use, probably they're pretty good. But for all the time use, it's not the best choice. Um, the case I like. I think it's pretty good. Uh, of course, it could be magnetic. They do fall out sometimes. It's really easy to like drop them. Uh, so have to be careful. There is no magnetic stuff there, but it's not a big deal. Another thing about actually case that some people pointed out, and I also noticed, it is not straightforward how to open it. I uh, almost broke it first when trying to open it for the first time. You're not supposed to like press here. You're supposed to press right on this bulge and then like um, pull up even now it's still like not so easy so you like pull up so and then it's then you then it opens but it's not very like pleasant to open it even after I have got to know how how it works so um, yeah so it's not without faults it's definitely it has its nice things but well uh, what I've decided to do next is to try the next Plantronics 6200 which is like a two airs uh, with big battery life and uh, with a um, long bar on your neck so maybe I will do a review of that next but um, uh, hopefully it cleared things up for you about this model. Also, I have experienced few times that uh, the left uh, headphone has got disconnected, and uh, uh, it was also not clear how to get it back. <laughs> I actually figured out that you could long press either up or down volume keys, and it would reconnect, but unless you do that it could just be disconnected well that happens when you take it off let's say you want to hear the surroundings and you put it back and then it doesn't necessarily reconnect by itself and uh, so that that does happen also a few words about its um, this uh, hear through feature I've been uh, I was actually first very excited about it. I thought, well, since they're blocking a lot of noise, otherwise maybe that would be the solution if they allow me to hear the surroundings using that feature. But at least in my experience, it did not work as I wished it would work. Um, I could hear just some, like, uh, some kind of noise. <laughs> uh, I just hear some kind of like an old TV is running in the background, uh, like a little bit of white noise on a low volume. Uh, and some some things I do hear, like let's say if I just make sound like this next to my ear, I hear it louder when this hear through is on, but not necessarily all the voices around. Let's say if I want to hear the people around, it's, it doesn't like maybe a little bit, but not nearly as noticeable as, as I would want it to be. So it was not really doing that function well. Uh, at least, uh, uh, well, I even tried different uh, like sensitivity. I tried it on maximum effect because you can control it in the app. Uh, the the how strong that effect is. It didn't really help. Uh, what else? Another feature that it has uh, is using the app only is this kind of. Uh, uh, nice uh, sound effects like thunderstorm uh, or like uh, underwater sounds and so on white noise pink noise uh, it's actually pretty cool uh, however it requires your phone and, and an app so it's actually the audio is being streamed from the phone uh, therefore it uses like all the all the its resources uh, the battery and your phone's processor uh, to do that effect. It would be much cooler if they had this uh, like programmed inside of them and they would like on super low power allow you to like listen to some even if it was only like three effects like rain or something and 
uh, I would, I think it would be one step further forward. But even though still I like this feature, even from the phone, it's, it's. I could see myself using it just to relax or, or to really get the noise away and not just to have a weird silence but to have a some kind of relaxing sounds so yeah that was that was nice touch but it could could be better well i will conclude my mini review uh, if you have any questions about it please ask me in the comments i'll be happy to answer uh, but otherwise thank you for watching